spot grapes. <laughs> the smile from the camera. Hello, Pete's friends. Hello, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Good shot. Twenty five years time they'll be looking at this thinking, who on earth is this lot? Twenty five years time they'll be saying, look, there's the general. Yeah. She's a pretty general boy, Lindsay so. Gilmer. Have another go, mate. I'm Just don't see the over these <laughs> ones. Is it? What's the time? Wave at the camera. At Dawson's school. No comment. Nice flip flops. You been to Weston? Can you stop it? What's up, Rachel, darling? What's up? Do you know who his glasses are? Hi, Pink. No. Oh yeah. They're the blokes that left them in your room, aren't they? Oh, hi. Right. Right. You're blushing. Go on, show us a bit more than that, Matt. <laughs> it's Gail, the sex, the sex pest of the staff. <laughs> Smile at the camera, Paula. Is that your best side? It's your only side, that's it. Matthew had that on an on uh, telephoto zoom then, so couldn't actually see what it was. Oh, I, think I think there's a button for that sort of shot. Oh yeah, that's not better. <laughs> That was a good swing. I came first in the two lane freestyle. I was so far ahead, I stopped. Yeah, you're doing it right. It's just. I was about halfway back, and they were turning around. No, I had some first time I was swimming this week for six months. But I'd be nice if I saw him for anybody. I can't swim. I think they were just too slow. Really, they're tired. I still got my energy because I get better after. I think I think maybe it's because I think there's only one length there, so she'd be a nice diet a second one. That's the first she can last. And um, yeah, I've committed, committed another sin now. I just bought bought eight cigarette lighters for Saturday, and of course, <laughs> the lighters were in the dorm were in there while I went in to buy them. <laughs> On the back. See you later. Bye. Smile at the camera. No. He's <laughs> <laughs> down behind you. What did Daisy Jones have to say? Is it letter? I've had it in my room all night. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm just some interesting people to turn Bristol School of Music Institution. <laughs> Sorry, the Bristol School of Music and Drama Institution. I am, I am that institution. Ryan Willett, eat your heart out. Ryan Willett, please. <laughs> Yeah, 
He's watching a video actually. Yeah, not recording you. Yeah, I'm a pit of pit if he's going down tonight. Thomas. Has he been good there? Has he been a good dorm sergeant? Yeah. He's been terrible. I heard he's brilliant at building chairs. I heard he's brilliant at getting beaten up by us. Yeah. Oh, but you're making your bed, lads. Well, you could be in for trouble tonight, I think. We are so scared. You could definitely be in for a thrashing. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> 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 you don't want me on that Oh, I do, I do, I do, I do. No, this, is, this is the chief chair mover. What's that, Robert? What did you say you were? You tell me. No, you tell me. What, what did you say you were? I thought I was pretty excellent myself. Yeah, you did. You did say that. I think I did. No, you did. I think I said I'm the best dormitory sergeant you've ever had. No, I don't think you said that. I think I did. <laughs> Sneaky mate, sneaky. Well, Chris, it's nice to see you. Thanks for the video. This is our friends you look like. Nice clean staff room. Lots of people. We recognise most of them. We don't change the staff too often, only when you need mop in the streets.
careful. I'll keep filling up your cups as you need. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Y
It's not over until the fat lady sings. Hey, you got Jay Rooney coming in here? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's great, I mean, just look at the facilities we've got here. They've been fantastic. We've got that lovely sports hall. We've got a great dining hall and a great dining hall. But the only problem is, I mean, just the whole place is just one. That's a building site. Like, there's just nowhere you can go. You, you've just got to watch where you walk. I mean, you, you, you're in danger of... <laughs>
Hi Ian, give us a wave. Is it a talky one as well? Okay. It will.
saw her open the book and read. As she read, she wept and trembled. Thank <laughs> you. 
the whole venture. It's going to be such a great success. Jugga cream just got And there's a letter from Mr. Jugga Cream. I'm going to go to sleep right now. It's very useful. What's this? Very useful. I'll have it with a knife in his head. I have never been on television since my days at DYS, and I'm really not going to share this particular story. Don't you remember, I was the one that made the initial approach to Dorcas' school. You may not know the story regarding this matter, but I will share it with you briefly. Oh. <laughs> Be polite, it's not we him. were looking for a venue for the school's music and I went on the radio and made an appeal. When I returned to the H2, there was a telephone call from a lady who heard the broadcast. She contacted her husband who held a high office in Dorsey School. We made an arrangement to visit her husband and speak with him the next week. I was received well and he was happy to put our request for the Board of Governors who were willing to allow us to use their school. Mm. Obviously, the real reason was that he was the elder man and it's not long before we were talking about her. <laughs> <laughs> we were kind of to all the people who knew me. Some of you may realise that I've been in a music school this week. No. Um, music and drama school. <laughs> Some of you may not quite realise yeah. what that entails. <laughs> uh, so I haven't really been able to get any notes together, so forgive me if I'm a bit rambling. Uh, for those that don't for those of you who don't, don't understand what a music school is, it's a group of people meet together on a Friday night, having sent out invitations to little things <laughs> on a Saturday in order to provide them with amusement for the rest of the week. <laughs> and uh, they sit there, one of, one of the one of the joys of the week is going into a nice room at the beginning of the week and creating mayhem, making it look like a bombs hit it by the end of the week. Yeah. And uh, well, just well, generally well, set the room. Man. Sorry? Well, you're talking about the staff room. <laughs> so that's what I was talking about. <laughs> and then, and then we heard some of them together into little rooms where they have things which, they, which make noises. I think they're called instruments. And then we proceed to shout at them. <laughs> Until such time as they make some tolerable noise. Uh, but in the case of some past members, they still try and out outblow the band even when they come as a guest on a particular day. <laughs> it was lovely to hear the soprano drowning everybody in the <laughs> Thank you. So that was fun. Um, there are all those memories. I mean, the hilarious one that Chris has just mentioned. <laughs> So uh, that was quite a long time ago. And we were there sleeping as we did on the top of the uh, on the top of the wardrobe, sitting there somewhere, um, and uh, just generally chatting till till the early morning. And one day we just started laughing. And we laughed for about twenty minutes till our sight hurt. Then we calmed down. That was nice. And then Roger said, "That's the funniest thing I've never heard." <laughs> And one of, one of the greatest memories of that is not names of people, because I always forget people's names. Mm -hmm. But just this evening has, has, has been a great, I don't know about you, but it's been a thrill to see you all here. And, uh, <coughs> you know, it, when I look back on the years, and I see the number of people who put in hours and hours of work for this particular event. And I, I can't fail to think, we often think about, you know, those that have been and go off and don't serve the Lord anywhere. And that is a source of sadness. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we've always got to remember the things that we'll never be able to know, and that is those people who might not have been serving the Lord <coughs> had they not been here. Mm -hmm. With your help and everybody's help, that's why we do it. Not, not for the, the, the glory of conducting or, or singing, um, 
though that brings us great, great joy, but the very fact that we may do something to prevent a soul from being lost. And uh, for that, I, you know, thank you all, as I'm sure we have everybody who's taken part in that. And, and uh, I hope that your memories um, are as long as mine are, and as deep as mine are, because just sitting here today, you know, people come up with them, and it's fantastic. And uh, praise the kids we're here this week. A lot of them, I'm thinking of one in particular, which some will know about, but for the rest of you, it doesn't matter who it is. You know, I was, I, I couldn't help getting, I don't know if you know Paul Nash's pictures from the First World War, where there were very devastating landscapes. And I said this to somebody else, I thought his life was one of those barren lands. It's a, it's a deep spiritual war going on inside of us, you know. And it's that landscape. And if we have done this week, and for people like him, the same, if we manage to, to, to let a blade of grass grow in that landscape and, and start it growing again, then that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. So thank you for all that you've done in the past. It's uh, well appreciated by the kids. And let's pray that uh, this sort of thing around the world will go on. And Chris is all over the world, wherever this sort of thing happens, that will go on saving people from what is a terrible future. Because that's what it's all about. So it's not going to be to come. As you know, uh, my last year was 88, and uh, we've come every year since, and it's been lovely to renew associations with so many of you come in anyhow every year. Um, one or two sad notes, you know, really. Uh, Colin and Sue Harding couldn't make it. You know, it, I mean, Colin was there. Unbelievable, yes. <laughs> Some of it sat nice. Yeah. Can you remember the night we found out who shot JR? Yeah. Yeah, and his nappy was ringing wet. <laughs> he was sat in his pram and he got up and unfortunately he didn't know he was sat on the potty and there was water in the potty. And of course, when he got up, he got <coughs> in this in the water. Oh dear, he shot Colin <laughs> with tomato juice. <laughs> oh, it was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Roger Mills isn't here from Campbell. He was the best monster we ever had, wasn't he? Perfect daughter. The memories come crowding, isn't it? Oh, really? it it's, it's terrific. Um, two things. 76. You know, I remember the, 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 the years because of the the major choral work we did. I suppose most of you were in the choral group. That's how you did it for years and years. And it grew. 76, what was it? That's right, the magnet. Yeah. You know, we struggled, I think it was much against the grain that we actually sang that that year. NHQ really didn't want to know that the divisional school of music wanted to attend it, you know. No. But uh, my friend Muriel Yandel uh, got the music for me, passed it on to me down in St. Ives. And I said, yes, well, I can go. And really, I think that was possibly the benchmark for the choral group that set the standard, really. Although we didn't put the work before. That was really, and you could feel the congregation, you know, willingness. 12 to 18 years old, that's all we were in those days. And, uh, and two bars before we finished, really, the place had looked it. And it was, it was just, it was, well, it was just something that was what I did. Remember it, Barry? Yeah, this was it. That's right, we lifted the piano up. And he moved the piano and had a tune. Remember? Best on the guard, let's <laughs> And it was great. Yes, that was a wonderful, and I think really that was, that set the standard for the choral group in all the ensuing years, which I think is really possible. We can't really, you know. No. Secondly, 87. Mark. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> I think I'm not the only one here, but 
It was your last year as a student. There were about eight went out that year. Ten went out of the elder students. Seven out of the court. But we had a, one of the most spiritual lift times in my whole life. That they were all waiting to come in into the hall, but as high up as usual, the senior students for the Bible study group. And it, what do you want, Michelle? Come I think you might. And it was, it was so, it was low, it was just heavenly. It was just heavenly. In fact, Helen Lampitt loved me and said, you know, that changed the course of my life. And she left the job and became a nurse. And then, of course, she's in Hogwarts. She married Commissioner Mission and Assurance to his son. And they were here for a couple of years after his son. But that, that uh, Friday morning changed Helen's life. Now, it's it's like that, you know. Uh, me and Nick told her why. Vivian, can you remember? Eh? Can you remember? We've been sent out many times damage along the way but um, we missed you and thanks for the video it was a really good idea of you to send those stories that we all remembered and laughed so much about and uh, sorry about the hats we haven't got a hat by the way well, I hope that's okay we're not real tech as you can see a number of changes actually taken place where we used to sleep at the top there's all classrooms now and uh, you can see the new block the dining hall, that's a dining hall extension. At the top of that, brand new music rooms that we hope we'll be able to use in the future. No big dormitories for staff anymore, so sadly no late night laughter. But uh, we had a good time last night at the dinner. A lot of people there, it was as if they'd all been on the staff forever and a day and were just joining up together to start another week. And Colin turned up too, right at the last minute. So that was good and his atmosphere was there again. So we, we missed him as well. But uh, thanks for the video again, and we look forward to maybe seeing you in the future at some point. See you, Chris. We'll cut this about so it, stand, it sounds as though it has some sort of form to it. But um, it was good seeing you on tape. You're getting older just like the rest of us, Chris, I'm sorry to say. But it, it was good. And uh, we hope we we'll see you very soon. All the best. <laughs>